It's almost been one year since the death of a Norfolk Christian High School student, Mark Rodriguez. And he and a Norfolk police officer were killed when a gunman went on a shooting spree. Mark Rodriguez was driving down Chesapeake Boulevard near Little Creek Road. Police say James Andrew Brown started shooting from his Jeep. Later, Brown shot and killed Officer Brian Jones before another officer killed Brown. Another officer was shot and recovered. Rodriguez would have graduated from high school this year. Turn on your side, Andy Fox talk to his family today and Andy really seems that they are celebrating Mark's life rather than mourning his death. An extraordinary family. They are remembering him fondly through his spiritual writings in this book that is now available online and this is the school Norfolk Christian where he would have graduated on Sunday. We found Carlos Rodriguez in the backyard treehouse. His son Mark would come here to read the Bible and be close to God. The treehouse called the Keep from Lord of the Rings, a retreat where there's safety, a fortress. Andy, you got to see the new setup here. You got electricity. Well, we've gone big time. After Mark's death, Carlos brought us up here. One year later, we have returned to visit an old friend. You know, as long as Mark's with God, everything's okay because I'm connected to God spiritually and Mark is with God. Amazing grace, God's strength and the spiritual family have taken the Rodriguez's along this journey. Don't get me wrong, we love him to be back here, but there is a beauty in seeing God's plan at work and we've been able to see that happen in the last year. In Mark's memory, the Rodriguez's have produced the extraordinary, ordinary life of Mark Rodriguez. In this book, we see the richness of a 12 year old to 17 year old growing in his intimacy. I mean, you'll even see where Mark writes to God and God writes back. You know, I want you to know me. I want you to look at Mark and his relationship with me and that you can have that too. And so Mark's life in some ways is, is like a beacon, you know, that's blinking out there to anyone who's listening. Come and no God. Mark gently challenges God in his writings about bad things he sees while on a missions trip in Nicaragua. Show me the hurting, hurting, give me the understanding, the empathy to mourn with them. Take my pride, take my fear and show me them. Mark wrote that at age 15, wise beyond his years. Mark writes what he thinks God would say to him. Son, it is time. Unity will not spontaneously occur. It needs a catalyst. You are a catalyst, Mark. Your peers, even adults, look up to you. You have been given wisdom, passion, and a sense of joy and peace to share with them. The last of Mark's writings called The Cabin, when God calls Mark home. Come find me. The thrill of that eager voice spreads my mouth into a smile, then bursts through my lips in a laugh. The branches sway again, and I hear the voice, come find me, and without a thought, I sprint into the forest. We talk about Mark very openly, uh, because we believe he's, he's not dead. He's asleep, as the Bible would say. He's in heaven, his body's in the grave, but we're gonna see him again. The book on Mark, uh, The Extraordinary Ordinary Life of Mark Rodriguez is now available online at GodIsSuperGood.com. The last writing I will read for you was written on the day that he was killed, May 30th, 2014. It comes from Philippians. Do all things without grumbling or disputing that you may be blameless and innocent, children of God without blemish in the midst of a crooked and twisted generation among who you shine as lights in the world. The last entry from Mark Rodriguez in his book that is now available online. It was also writing around the journal entries from his mother, Lee Ellen Rodriguez. And we want to thank the Rodriguez's for sharing time with us today. It was one year ago uh, that Mark Rodriguez uh, was gunned down. Uh, he would have graduated here from Norfolk Christian on Sunday. In Norfolk, Andy Fox, 10 on your side.